Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, we keep being lectured on this concept of white privilege, we're constantly hearing about it, but I'm gonna reiterate, the only privilege that I seem to see is either Democrat privilege or Don Lemon privilege. That's what I'm dubbing it because CNN's Don Lemon seems to be the best example of a clear double standard when it comes to ma accountability. The cancel mob is officially coming for CNN's Don Lemon. On. Starting a couple months ago with CNN's supposedly controversial moments on his new morning show, the rabid leftist Twitter mob has been coming for him, and actually, interestingly enough, it seems like most of the efforts to cancel Don Lemon these days are coming internally from CNN. But what we're learning is that if you're like little Donnie Lemonhead here, well, the same standard doesn't apply. You're essentially untouchable. Don Lemon seems to have absolute immunity in the face of cancel culture, and I wonder if his identity has something to do with it. Probably yes. We got some stuff to get into, folks, so let's roll the tape. All right, friends, so take a look at this new headline from Variety. Don Lemon's misogyny at CNN exposed. Malicious text mocking female co-workers and diva-like behavior. Back in 2008, Don Lemon was co-anchoring CNN's Live From a weekday show with Kira Phillips, a gig that he landed after he arrived at the network two years prior from local news in Chicago. For months, tensions between the pair kept mounting. On more than one occasion, a Live From producer and newsroom supervisor had to pull Lemon off air during a commercial break because of the anchor's provocative antics. Not unlike his recent declaration that the 51-year-old Nikki Haley isn't a viable presidential candidate, because she, quote, isn't in her prime. Amid the charged atmosphere, sources say that Don Lemon disrespected colleague Nancy Grace and Soledad O'Brien during an editorial meeting attended by roughly 30 staffers. But his antipathy toward Phillips was particularly concerning and had many members of the close-knit Atlanta news team on edge. While Phillips was on assignment in Iraq, a high-profile gig that Lemon coveted, he vented his disappointment at being passed over by tearing up pictures and notes on top of an inside Phillips desk in the news pod that they shared. According to two sources who worked there at the time, when she returned from Iraq, things only got weirder. One night while dining with members of the news team, she received the first of two threatening text messages from an unknown number on her flip phone that warned, now you've crossed the line and you're gonna pay for it. Phillips was visibly rattled and quickly enlisted CNN's higher ups to identify the sender. Remarkably, the texts were traced back to Don Lemon. According to those same sources, a human resources investigation was launched, and while the findings were never disclosed to the growing pool of staffers who were aware of the situation, Lemon was abruptly pulled from his co-anchor duties with Phillips and moved on to the weekends. It was a demotion by any objective measure and understood to be some kind of disciplinary action. It appears to be the last time that he was paired with a female anchor until his most recent assignment on CNN This Morning with Don Lemon, Poppy Harlow, and Caitlin Collins. Phillips, who joined ABC as a Washington-based correspondent in 2018, declined to comment. A spokesperson for CNN said, Don Lemon says the alleged incident never occurred and that he was never notified of any investigation. CNN cannot collaborate the alleged events from 15 years ago. The network responded to the Don Lemon disaster. The Variety story provides no actual proof and instead relies on anonymous sources and unsubstantiated claims from 10 to 15 years ago. CNN is unable to corroborate the alleged accounts. John Nicosia then questions, wait, I thought we, quote, believe all women. And so the double standard is clear here. Look, I'm never a fan of this cancel culture nonsense, but in some cases it might be justified. And when it comes to little old Don Lemonhead, I guess the question that I think a lot of people are asking is, when is enough going to be enough? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's probably never going to be enough to fire Don Lemon. Don Lemon is immune from accountability. Uttering rather sexist remarks on air? No problem. Don Lemon gets a two-week vacation on Miami Beach. Just take a little break there, little Donnie, and come back once you've cleared your head. Viciously, overall being catty and mean to women that he works with at CNN, apparently for the last 10 to 15 years. No problem, little Donnie. Just head to the beach and come back once you've cleared your head. And of course, probably the worst scandal involving little Don Lemon, Don Lemon was sued by a Hamptons bartender for alleged inappropriate assault. CNN defends the news anchor. Of course they did. In a report from Deadline, Dustin Heiss sued Don Lemon on Sunday for demeaning, unprovoked, and offensive assault that allegedly took place at Murph's Backstreet Tavern in Sag Harbor in July of 2018. Mr. Lemon, who was wearing a pair of shorts, sandals, and a t-shirt, put his hand down the front of his own shorts and vigorously rubbed his body parts, removed his hand, and then shoved his index finger and middle finger into Heiss's mustache and 
under his nose. The filing for emotional pain and suffering claims. Lemon, who is openly gay, is then said to have asked a rather pointed question about Heiss's sexuality as the TV host continued to shove his fingers at the plaintiff with aggression and hostility. Don Lemon has a history of totally inexcusable, indefensible behavior and scandal, yet he just seemingly gets away with it every time. I wonder why that is. Well, it's very simply because Don Lemon has one of the most powerful diversity shields known to mankind. We all know what it is, I don't even need to say it. And so he's held to a different standard, and that standard seems to be no standard at all. He can do no wrong. No matter what accusation is lobbed at him, no matter what is dug up from his past, no matter how he distreats staff and women that he works with, no matter how misogynist the take, live on air, CNN always comes to the defense of their precious news anchor. You know, I hate to delve into whataboutism, but could you imagine if Don Lemon was a straight white male? I mean, just the sheer hypocrisy. Look at CNN's focus on the whole grab them by the body part Donald Trump clip from the 2016 election. Not to mention every other allegation and hashtag Me Too story which CNN jumps on, they always jump on the cancel call culture train and the Me Too train with nightly coverage how unacceptable but with Don Lemon the guy just gets a pass. You know Brett Kavanaugh didn't get a pass but little Donnie Lemonhead does. Does it have anything to do with the credibility? Of course not. The accusation against Kavanaugh was totally discredited, totally not credible. The alibis didn't match up. Individuals who were supposedly there never corroborated the story or said that it never happened. Yet CNN pushed it. The whole leftist apparatus pushed it. Brett Kavanaugh was guilty automatically because all women should be believed. Don Lemon is accused of all kinds of different things from men and women, but nobody is to be believed, even though the accusations are much more credible. In fact, there's not even an investigation. The whole Hamptons bartender assault situation magically disappeared. I wonder if there was an under-the-table settlement there. No matter what Don Lemon does, the only punishment he ever seems to receive are two things, either a Miami vacation, a Hamptons vacation, or a slight demotion, which he then turns around and says is a promotion. Don Lemon apparently fits perfectly into the same category as Ellen DeGeneres and the rest of them. He paints this public persona and this public image of a virtuous Democrat, such a good person. But behind the scenes, he's disrespectful, manipulative, even predatory, at least allegedly. Turns out another compassionate leftist icon is exposed as another, you know, piece of work. What a surprise. Shocking, I know. Honestly, at this point, I think that the only thing that could really take down Don Lemon is a change in identity. If all of a sudden he decided that he was a Republican and he was going to come out in defense of Donald Trump, then at this point, that's probably the only thing I could do in his career. Folks are seeing leftist POC privilege on full display here. There's really no other way to describe it. That's what I got for you guys on this one, though. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Of course, you know that we'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.